Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. And more specifically, an Azapod tutorial, which will hopefully be very short and sweet because they are a refreshingly simple thing to do in From the Depths. So, those of you who are wondering what an Azapod is, um, it is simply a bit of propulsion mounted on a spin block uh, set to respond to usually your but also pitch and roll and altitude and whatever else you like really more on that later and i love them they're very convenient they're reasonably straightforward to use and i use them all the time which is why it's about time i got around to making a proper little tutorial on them so uh the ship you see before you right now is perfectly finished it is just a fun little wooden thing with oversized crams and it's a little uh, fun canoe and we're going to azapod it, but first, let's talk about uh, the pros and cons of these things. So, pro is, it can make for some really maneuverable craft. Um, I've made craft uh, in the past, especially if you're like me and you like building craft which are very long and very pointy, and there's just a huge amount of drag uh, sideways whenever they turn. Azapods help compensate for that a lot, which means you can make even very large and very long ships that practically tap dance. Uh, they're so maneuverable, so it's very good. And like I've already hinted at, they're somewhat idiot-proof, and I speak uh, as an occasional idiot uh, with regard to that. They're very simple to set up. You've, you can have uh, preset sub-objects, you can save them, and you can slap them on anywhere, and it's very straightforward. Uh, the cons are that uh, basically Azipods uh, why they work is that they essentially turn the main forward or backward thrust of your craft into a uh, yawing um, like propulsion instead or any other kind of propulsion really which means that uh, if you use them for your for your for turning uh, for instance it will slow down during turns noticeably and that can be a bit of an issue uh, if you want to keep the thing as fast as possible and also, they tend to be mounted on the outside of your craft, which is, like, not that much of a drawback because most propulsion systems tend to be. But do keep in mind that uh, you do have to think about ways to keep them safe because you don't want your propulsion shot off because that means you can't move. But now we get to the how-to, which is my favorite bit. So, like I said, this uh, little guy, I'll just show you the insides quickly. Not much to say uh, in here, like little engines, got one little ammo box, oversized crams, H-E-E-M-P, because yay. And now we've got to put some propulsion on it. And we could just stick regular propellers on it, but nope, we're being cute with Azipod. So you take your spin block, and you make sure, where, uh, you make sure it's orientated, yeah, oriented the right way uh, that you want. So in this particular case, I'm gonna flip it so it's, whoops, so I'm gonna flip it so it's upside down like that uh, to help my brain because the settings on the spin block will vary depending on its position, whether it's mounted uh, right side up or upside down or rotated. So in this case, we're gonna do this. And the first thing we're gonna do before we put anything on it is mess with the settings. So. First of all, this thing's on the underside, so I'm going to set it to respond to your. And I'm just going to turn that off, because you can see it's already responded to your. And this requires... It's always good to double-check this, uh, because, like, uh, it is very easy to get wrong, and you have to mess around and move your ship around and stuff in order to get that right. Uh, then, if you want to be really clever, and if you want to change uh, how fast this thing rotates, you go to this option here, rotate at a speed determined by the red controller, click that, and then you can set uh, the spin rate here. So in this case, we're going to set it to maximum. You don't have to. And then uh, this thing will respond uh, quite nicely to uh, your in pitch. Well, just your in this case. So actually, let's go back on our little stick. And now we can stick some propulsion on it. So I'm going to be a little bit restrained, which is unusual for me, and uh, stick some small propellers on it. So, you can see these guys right here, I'm going to switch them to manual control, so that's nice and convenient, so it's set to back. These things uh, orientate themselves with regard to the whole craft. Uh, these settings here uh, are set based on which direction you put them in, so it is handy to make sure that that syncs up well with the spin lock. 
And in this case, I'm gonna do that, and then, because we're being silly and consistent with wood, we're gonna do that. So now we've got a bunch of spin locks, and now we're just gonna double check that yes, 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 oh yes, this is working. So now, uh, if we do this, uh, we are not needing to move, so instead, we're just going to tell our friend here to go over there. And we're actually humming along quite nicely. And we're steering. So it's worth mentioning as well that, that um, it's a good idea to set these guys up uh, along the center of drag. This actually goes really fast. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, 20 minutes per second already. Uh, because if you do not do that... Um, you'll get the usual problems with propulsion in that your craft will pitch up or down, and that's bad. So there we go. We go over here, and we only need the one uh, azipod because we're going along at an ideal speed. But we're going to be cool, and we're going to use more than one. Actually, before I do that, I want to put some deco on this for fun and giggles. Let's go. How do we do this? What shall we do? Little canoe. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. This is actually kind of ugly, but it's okay. Because we're going to move right along. So, making sure that this is orientated the right way. We can do the same thing on the front of a vehicle. You just have to set this to be reversed. So, if we go here, keep an eye on both azipods. If I want to go right... There we go. If I want to go left, there we go. Let's see how this fella goes. Get you to move over there. Goes lovely, lovely, quick, quick. And it goes, whoops, we've actually overdone it slightly. So this is actually more Azipod than we, than we really need. Or, we've placed them slightly too low. So yeah, that's basically how to set up Azipods. Uh, very, very straightforward. And you can set pretty much any kind of propulsion you like on them, by the way. Let's just shoot a Marauder, because that's fun. We, where are you? Marauder. Fire away, my little friend. We. So as you can see, this guy just wiggles around like no one's business. Goes wiggle, 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 wiggle. Which means that even if something is like a ship, if it's bound to the water, it can really like twist around. I don't think you could get uh, this kind of yawing ability, uh, even with large rudders, really. And we're gonna go there. Bang, 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 bang. EMP is fantastic. And is the Marauder going to actually land a shot on this? I don't think it can. Because we go zip, zip around a lot so yeah look at you going like stink and bang I'm getting just I'm getting distracted flattening marauders again incidentally I'm very proud of this thing being very cheap it's uh, only 11,000 materials so I'm going to save it just because it's fun and uh, that front as a bod needs a bit of tweaking so like I mentioned earlier uh, as a pods I believe in real life it is specifically referring to uh, propellers mounted uh, in a way that allows them to turn. But uh, in From the Depths, um, I include in that definition just any kind of propulsion mounted on a spin block in order to uh, do a little bit of extra control uh, on the craft. So, if I uh, delete all our friends here, uh, I can show you an example of that. So. What we have here is a symptom of my recent uh, Zeppelin uh, craze. So, this thing is also uh, very simple. It's got an oversized AI compartment made of rubber because prefab. It's got some ammo and it's got some uh, smart bombs on it, but that's not the important bit. The important bit is that uh, all of the propulsion is mounted on spin locks and all of them are contributing to pitch, yaw, and roll. So. These fellas on the outside, let's just turn everything back on, uh, are controlling roll, and the way you do that is, again, trial and error, just to make sure that the thing works properly. This guy on the right is set to roll right, and spin block pointing forward, the top of it is facing outward, 
and this guy is actually got uh, the same setting because when you rotate it 180 degrees uh, the thing turns in a way uh, that's a little bit different so if I do the roll thing you'll see even though they're set uh, to uh, the same uh, response uh, they rotate in different directions which is what you want uh, for roll control and back here it's a similar story you've got uh, fellas up here that are set to pitch so this one is set to pitch down 0.2 got that spin rate control up there same here angle control is pitch uh, up and these guys same thing 0.2 same thing negative 0.2 and these fellas are set to yaw and the top ones are set to a negative yaw 0 uh, 0.2 negative and the bottom ones are set to just 0.2 so uh, if you look here these things go like so they pitch up and down and these fellas your forward and back so this thing uh, almost is entirely controlled uh, with these little custom jets I am getting very fond of just slapping little crappy custom jets everywhere because it's hilarious so this thing basically just through those spin blocks uh, can control its flight and its altitude as well because it's uh, set to an airplane uh, maneuver which means it can use pitch to reach its target altitude which means that this thing bounces up and down and actually punches above its weight it's quite nice also it's got eyeballs because why not and so uh, clearly we must flatten something uh, maybe a bit bigger than marauder there's our friend the greenfield and now we must bomb it because those are the rules so that's basically other pods. They're uh, very, very useful. Like I said, straightforward. And once you start using them, it's kind of hard to stop. Like, I slap them everywhere. I slap them even in places which don't make sense. And you too can make uh, little weird uh, Zeppelin bomber things uh, with Azajets like that. It's quite efficient, actually, because, li like I said before, it's turning your main propulsion into roll control, pitch control, and your control as well. And there's all kinds of uh, fancy things uh, that you can do with stuff mounted on spin blocks, propulsion in particular, that we can save for another day. We Casplat. So yeah, that'll do for this uh, video. I hope it was helpful, and if it wasn't helpful, I hope it was entertaining at the very least, watching uh, my wooden crack craft do stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.